game started. Oh, Tony Lambden from, uh, let's see, where is that? Australia. Okay, let's try uh, E4. See what we get. E4, C5 is Sicilian. And, um, okay, Knight C6. That's the other way to play. The second most popular choice after uh, D6. You can still do this. Let's see, he could play. Yeah, there's lots of different lines. So he just goes to D6, is transposing into uh, the D6 line. No, he never played. Uh, you know, I, I could have played. <clears throat> I could have played c4 there and gone for a Maraxi bind. Instead, I went for this setup because he never played knight to. Um, he never played knight f6 to attack this pawn, so it didn't really need a defense. Okay, I'm just going to continue my setup. I just that just was not the most accurate way to play. I should have should have been paying a little more attention. So I'm going with this uh, English. English attack set up, and he's going with the dragon. So now it's not, <laughs> uh, technically speaking, this is not the English attack. This is the Yugoslav attack, as it's called, against the dragon. And he's already played d6, which means if he plays uh, d5, that comes with a loss of tempo. So um, the move bishop to... Um, Connection closed. Oh, that's too bad. I lost my connection. Okay, wow, I got back. That was lucky. I, my connection was busted. Okay, let's see. Did I lose some time? Um, queen d2. Let's hope my... That was a totally a problem on my end. <clears throat> okay, so he's just doing a s normal setup here. I will go ahead and castle queenside. Yep. And then I'll play um, g4, h4... H5. Ah, so he gets in an early um, H5 himself. Interesting way to play. Okay, so I can play H4 to stop him from advancing the pawn and then play G4 and try and get an exchange going here. I think I'll play bishop to um, bishop to E2 next. Okay, and he's pushing his pawns forward. When this pawn gets all the way to... Um, well, if it gets one more step closer, I will push on with uh, a3 to stop it from going all the way to a2. It, that can be dangerous, but I can let it get to uh, a4. I will stop it here. And he does have ideas to sacrifice on a3, potentially. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to move my king to b1. This sets up some little tactical tricks on the position, <laughs> such as knight to um, knight to d5. You always have to worry about that, exposing an attack on his queen. Well, his queen is defended by the knight, so if I wanted to play that way, I'd have to take the knight. Oh, his queen is, his queen is defended by the rook, so I don't have these knight d5 tactics. He has knight to c4 here, yeah. He also is controlling the uh, g4 square. Interesting. So if I go knight d5 anyway, what's he going to do? Take the knight, trade queens, and then take the knight? If he trades queens, I can throw in a check here. He takes the knight. Hmm, I don't know what that does. If I play g4, uh, he can just take it. Pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes. Bishop takes, knight takes. can bring a rook over at the knight. This knight there is hitting my dark squared bishop kind of annoyingly. Okay, so I leave these pawns in place. That keeps his knight out of these squares. And play something like bishop to... Uh, bishop to b4. Um, that, I would encourage a trade of these light squared bishops. And um, does that help me? Maybe I can gang up on the... Uh, well, without the light squared bishop, though, I'm losing control of the c4 square, so he, have a, he would have knight to c4. Okay, another idea. Pawn to f4, uh, asking his knight where it wants to go. He can come into here. 
once again. Trade, trade, and then um, and I move this bishop. Anyway, I think I don't want to let his knight sit there, so I want to kind of force the issue. So he goes there. Okay. Oh, and he takes back with the bishop. I was expecting a knight there. So with the bishop on the light squares here, what's going on? Maybe pawn to uh, f, rook. Rook f1, so I can push the f-pawn forward. Or rook to e1 and push the e-pawn forward. Knight here is not yet doing anything. His knight's controlling this square. Let's put the rook on e1. <clears throat> See, at some point, he's been moving instantly, so at some point he has to stop and think, I guess, and <laughs> come up with a plan. <laughs> but it seems like he had some sort of a idea in mind all along. So now he goes and castles. So I can play knight to b5 at any time, but what does it do? Play knight to d5, but he can actually take here, <clears throat> annoyingly. How about... Um, Bringing this knight back. Maybe going to um, g5. Putting my bishop on this long diagonal here and defending my knight and uh, hoping hoping to trade off his uh, dark squared bishop. Okay, rook there. So he's going to play rook to uh, pawn to... Um, if I play bishop to d4, he will play pawn to e5, it looks like. Pawn takes, pawn takes, and the bishop retreats. But then his bishop has been blocked in by that maneuver. Oh, but let's think about it. That, that opens up this file, too. So bishop here, no, yeah, bishop here, pawn here. Pawn takes, pawn takes. I move my bishop. He gets a rook to the e file. Is that dangerous? The queen can come over here to the queen side. Let's see. If I don't play that, um, then I'm actually... He can't play e5 right away because I can just take on d6. Let's see. Another idea. I could play pawn to... Um, <clears throat> pawn to e5 right away. Pawn takes, pawn takes. He could win the pawn by taking my knight. I take back, and he takes here. But uh, his queen is subject to a tempo-gaining move by the bishop, so I've had a good bishop move there. Bishop here. I don't see it. Okay, let's try it this way. I'm using too much time. <laughs> he used so little time, I had to do all my thinking on my own time. Very, very annoying. At least I've defended the uh, e pawn, and I can play knight to uh, <clears throat> knight to d5, perhaps without without losing this pawn. Uh, that still loses. Knight to d5, he can take with a knight, and I take back with a rook, and then he can grab my knight here. Hmm. Yeah, it's a difficult position. I don't know how he plays it at that blinding speed, but obviously I've played too slow here. Okay, I just put his rook there. That's not what I was expecting at all. So I can play e5 now, right? e5, pawn takes, pawn takes, and it's uh, well defended. So let's do that. I, ha I like to keep this bishop here defending my knight, so if I can do that, it makes this uh, exchange sacrifice on c3 much less useful for black. If I can just take back with the bishop. Let's see, and so his bishop, he can take my knight. Okay, so he's just going there. I should trade that off, right? He has pressure on the bishop, huh? Hmm. 
Hmm. How can I uh, get anything going here? If I move the rook with the bishop, I need to move the bishop with tempo, but I don't see a good way to do that. Knight takes, queen takes. There's no, uh, it's too bad his king isn't on a dark square or something like that. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, he takes here with check, so let's let's get rid of that first. Yeah, there's no there's no tempo move with the bishop that I'm seeing. Let's see, queen takes and I drop my bishop back here. He could throw in queen takes queen, but that that just gives up a piece, right? So he has to take there. Okay, so Bishop here, he could play rook takes. Now his queen is loose, so probably he takes queens off first, and then I take back with the bishop. Or bishop here, he moves the queen. And then um, we'll see how it goes from there. I, I need to move a little faster anyway. Count the pawns. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. I thought he had one a pawn in there, but I guess not. <clears throat> okay. He piles up there. Rick uh, here would be nice. Let's let's move this knight somewhere. This pawn is defended. Knight to g5. Maybe to um, maybe to e4. Maybe queen over here to f2 or um, okay he's piling up with his bishop on that um, so rook here I mean knight here knight e4 bishop takes and uh, it's under defended let's see <laughs> no, that would be a bad mistake. Queen here, trying to invade with my queen. That does not work. Um, let's see. How about a rook lift? Defending, defending my bishop. Yeah, I could, I guess, double rooks and then play knight to e4. Bishop takes, rook takes would be good. Okay, hit my queen. Yeah, I have to stay in touch with the c-pawn. I don't want to give that away. Although, he's not immediately threatening to take it, is he? Still want to play rook to uh, e1 here. Rook e1, knight e4. There may be ideas of pushing the e-pawn forward, huh? Be nice to sacrifice here and then <laughs> push a pawn forward, but uh, he can always take back here with the queen. He doesn't have to take with the king. And uh, pawn to g4 can always be met with hg. So I never managed to disrupt his king side. He found a way of uh, defending that pretty nicely. Okay, what's going on? Okay, he's going after my knight. I'm still going to uh, double here. I can't afford to waste time defending that knight. He can trade it for his bishop if he wants. I've gotten rid of that. Um, uh, he blocks up. That's, that was his idea. I was going to say, I've gotten rid of that um, problem. <clears throat> that problem bishop. 
I'm, I'm threatening as queen. Just going into kind of a simple in the game here where he's a little better. He has better pawn structure over here. Typical, in fact, of the Sicilian that uh, black has the better pawn structure. I'm going to invade with the rook. He's going to invade with his rook. Okay, bishop there. I need to put this pawn on a dark square. I was thinking bringing his rook over and harassing my pawns is probably a better idea. So I could put my rook here, but I don't think I'll ever be able to double on the seventh rank. So let's uh, drop back. Go after the... Um, Go after his f-pawn. Okay, well, let's go after his um, h-pawn then. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, this is probably a drawish kind of position. Even though he has an extra pawn, the bishops are of opposite color. His, uh, I don't think his rook is doing anything great. Hey, he can he can cut off my uh, my rook, and um, I just have to keep active with the rook. I can't let it um, can't let it slide. I have to not let my time run down too much. I need, may need to think at some point. Yeah, this is sort of uh, two pawns against four, isn't it? And then over here he's got two pawns against three. Eh, chances, I guess, for a passed pawn over here. He had his rook. I wanted to lift my rook up to this square. Um, I'm not sure that's such a great idea. Let's see, yeah, he can take there. And uh, anyway, I can I can break out Check. on this side of the board. Uh huh, he can play that, huh? Let's get the rooks off. Enough of this. Enough of this with Check. the rooks. And uh, I'm going to go for winning this pawn over here. And see if I can hold this end game. Might not be holdable. He maybe can. Uh, he can defend over here, huh? Let's uh, <clears throat> push this pawn forward before he gets a chance to uh, defend it. <laughs> he can hit my king, of course. Ah, he spotted the idea. Yeah, I thought. Uh... Okay. So I have to try and hold off his pawns. This is bad. He's got an armada, ar armada of pawns here, and I don't have any counterplay. Let's see. I guess what I do have is... Um, oh, and then he stopped that. <laughs> I was going to push to uh, A4, and he takes on Passant, and then I have a passed pawn. So I have no passed pawn here, which is annoying. got to push his pawns forward at some point. Okay, that fixes my bishop. I mean, his his king here keeps my bishop tied down, so I can't move my bishop. He's probably trying to uh Gain some sort of a, get some sort of Zugzwang position here against my uh, my king. Now that my bishop is tied up, he's gonna have to push those pawns at some time. I don't know why he's waiting. <laughs> Maybe he's gonna do it at the absolute best possible time. Uh -huh, he's still not moving them. Okay, 
I can move my king back and forth all day long. Okay, he moved his king away. Now my bishop can be free to move. Mm -hmm. He cannot run me out of moves here. Let's see, I can even attack his pawn. He can't defend that one. Aha, he did it. He took a pawn. Okay, uh, this is getting into Drash territory. The bishop stops this pawn, the king spots, stops this pawn, and um, the bishop defends these pawns. Right. Uh, I may run out of moves, so that, that may be a problem here. Well, let's just uh, stay here. Okay, he's going to help this pawn uh, with his king, huh? He does have two pawns there. Let's see. What's the color? Yeah, it's the right. It's the right uh, color of uh, pawn too. So I can't sacrifice the bishop. Hmm. Okay. So it looks like looks like he's going to pull this one out. Check. <laughs> well, he's still got to figure it out, so let's see if he can do it. Ah, now he can play here, check. Ah, that was, a, that was a careless move. Just h2 check wins. And he didn't play it, okay. Well, he gives me a pawn. <laughs> now this may be drawn. Let's see. I can uh, put this bishop here and my king here, and, and that's a draw. Funny. Yeah, he had ways to win that. Um, anyway, we will take a look at that in the postmortem after uh, after uh, he gives up, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> this may take a long time. Just put the king there. Put the bishop here. Doesn't matter. He could never take this pawn. He can never move, force my king to move. Draw offered. Okay, we got a draw. Game drawn. So I will upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.